Now did I hear you say you only have 10 minutes of free time in your day? Then I'd like to welcome you to the 10 minute witch where we answer just one witchy question in 10 minutes or less. All right, so we are here at the 10 Minute Witch where we answer a witchy question in 10 minutes or less. I am Art Savorio, the director of a series of witches. I am here with my partner in craft, the very talented and beautiful British actress, Lauren Clare. Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing, Lauren? I'm doing really well. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Good. So we're going to answer a single question. And that question has to do with depression and anxiety. And what, what I want to know, and probably what the viewers want to know as well, is why do people come to a spiritual path or witchcraft to help them with their depression and anxiety? And they possibly seem to have more success with that, with that kind of path in life than with organized religion or with, you know, more of a, I don't know, I guess a more meditative kind of approach to it where it's just a very passive right to where yeah. uh witchcraft and spirituality is a little bit more um hands-on getting into getting into your um solution of how, why you have your anxiety and your depression so okay would you like to go first yes <laughs> <laughs> okay i think because uh, i do i originally was a christian and so forth um but I kind of like started to go into the spiritual direction because I had a lot more experiences that couldn't be explained and they weren't confined to certain rules. I feel that with religion, you've got a certain set of rules that you must follow and you can't ever go out of that line. If you do, then you're like seen as a sinner and so forth. So it feels like there, there isn't as much demand or pressure to do spirituality. And there's a lot of things that, for instance, I have certain abilities where I can read empathy from people. Well, I have empathy abilities, which isn't really explained too much in religion in a sense that you can all have those abilities, but like that's never really touched upon and so forth. It's more kind of shunned upon if I use tarot cards, that's like a problem and so forth. Whereas it's just like, it's confusing in a sense because if God did create us all and stuff and he must have given us these abilities they must have come from somewhere so there's a line which hasn't been addressed and never really has been addressed in religion more kind of like you're a devil worshiper you're a sinner kind of that approach to it instead right. of kind of like uplifting approach like well maybe we will have these gifts and so forth so that's that's why I've kind of leaned more in spirituality um through depression and anxiety because it's something I can actively do as well I can, can actively meditate. I can actively read people and get those results in a sense. And there's not people knocking on my door trying to recruit me for like, join us now and stuff in a sense. Like that doesn't happen with this. It's more kind of a, like you can do whatever you want to do with spiritual spirituality. You can be whoever you want to be. Whereas there's confinements that are too repressed. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I have a couple. I have one that's kind of hands-on, why I think it works, and the other is like very theoretical. So, okay. the first one is I feel, especially for myself, right? Because I came from a very, very conservative Catholic background, and okay. and same thing, right? It's very structured. Um, you do a lot of praying, but there's not much action on yourself to actually help yourself, right? You're relying on something to come into you to try to help you um, find your path forward or to to heal yourself. Whereas when I started moving over more into spirituality and then ultimately into working with goddesses and things, my approach to depression and anxiety was more hands-on and more active, right? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't just, okay, you know, you know, try to say, hey, give me help. I actually was a participant in that. I was doing, you know, working with crystals. I was actually, you know, doing things where I was actually uh, – talking to goddesses and interacting with them and those type of things. And that really kind of just changed my life like drastically. You know, yeah. I went from not having my power to being in my power, you know, and that's where a lot of people I think are, are lost is they've lost their power, right? That depression and anxiety is a loss, a loss of control. You can't control it. It controls you. Mm -hmm. So it's basically, you know, you're, you're, you've kind of lost your, your own power and you, you gain that back by, being an active participant and and that you know in the craft that you're working with or in the spiritual path that you're walking 
Like, even in meditation, meditation is cool, but meditation still didn't help me. You know, yeah, I was meditating, <laughs> but I'd be, you know, I feel great for 20 minutes and boom, boom, right back into that. Straight back into it and so forth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the theoretical, <laughs> here's a theoretical one that I have. It might sound kind of crazy, but <clears throat> okay. So let's say, you know, you have millions and millions of people, right? In organized religion and they pray to basically almost one God okay, and many, yeah. many pray to Jesus. Right. And so with any type of energy um, and even, even, you know, person, right. There's always so many people and so much energy can be given at one time. So if you're having a millions and millions of people praying for help, right? Yeah. It could be that you get put into a queue and yeah. maybe 15 years from now or 20 years from now, all of a sudden you feel better. And so like, you know, you'll, you'll meet people where, where, you know, they have like these really like bad anxieties or depression and you'll ask them, how are you doing? Oh, I'm pretty good. I'm like, well, what'd you do to help yourself? And they'll be like nothing. It just kind of went away. And I'm wondering, <laughs> like yeah. 15 years from now, Jesus says, all right, you know, uh, this guy's on the list. I better help him. <laughs> I better, better help him from back here. <laughs> yeah. And then 15 years later, you're good. Yeah. Whereas with the goddess, you know, they're, re they're ready to go because not many people interact with them or are afraid to work with them, right? Yeah. They're like open to working with you like now. So it's like, yeah, let's do it. You know, let's, let's start working on it. And so that's my theoretical uh, idea of why. <laughs> why yeah, no, it, it, yeah, it makes sense and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I think the act of being an active participant is, is huge, right? And yeah. Your own healing and getting your own power back and, you know, dri driving yourself forward in life. I mean, you know, I, I've, I've been, I don't know, I think, you and I have been interacting for like how many years? I think over two years now. Yeah, about yeah, two and a half years maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, both you and I have grown quite a bit. I mean, we've gone yeah. from, you know, being um, just kind of working on small things to like working on like big, you know, bigger projects, right? And it's only going to get bigger. So, yeah. I think a lot of that has to do with just kind of our paths of what our, you know, what we're doing and our being actively active participating in that. Yeah, exactly. And kind of a like manifestation in a sense as well. Like that's normally, mm -hmm. I don't, is it looked upon much in religion manifestation of your own kind of success? Is that looked upon yeah. at all? Yeah, no, yeah. So manifestation is, is uh, part of that as well, right? Because you're, yeah. when, when you're in your power, you can pretty much manifest anything you want. You're, yeah. You know, it's not like, you know, I'm going to manifest a card and it shows up outside, but it's like, that active path to get into where you want to go. It right? manifests the steps that could yeah. maybe get you that car and so forth. Yeah. Right. So there's so, that extra kind of freedom. So I think once, as you said, like depression is like, that's when you're no longer the driver, you're currently, you've got someone else driving the car. It's not you. And in religion, you're kind of like just praying to somebody to give you a control back. Whereas, as you said, with manifestation and the other path, it's literally like grabbing that will and saying, no, I'm going to take, I'm going to start doing this. So it's kind of like allowing you to vanquish the depression as much as you can and stuff, or at least keep it quiet for a few hours. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. No, there's, there's, there's going to be times where, you know, you actually need help, right? Yeah. You might need medication and stuff like that. And there is nothing wrong with medication. No, medication is yeah. great, especially if it can help you get to where you want to be in life. You know, I've, I've also, you know, done the medication route and, yeah, it's it's helped it's helped quite a bit because when you're in those in that situation and you have to be in a you know in a work environment or something like that, you don't have time to meditate. <laughs> meditate, right? <laughs> it, like hold me, hold the the meeting a second. Meditate. Meditate. Well, hold hold it a moment. <laughs> you know. Right. So, yeah, you know, so there's there's um. There's, of course, good and bad medication, right? Mm -hmm. Too much medication is not good because you become a zombie. Um, yeah, and it also I found that it's it really tampers with your abilities and also your ability to deal with grief or anything. It's like putting... Oh, yeah. Some, yeah, in some situations, it's like getting a bandage and just putting it on your problems and like, I'll take care yeah. of those later, but a lot of people don't. Mm -hmm. So when they come off, then it's suddenly everything comes back 100 times more than it would have in the first place and just kind of like working on that situation and like it feels like 
spiritually as well spiritually yourself is like right you need to grow now you've you've taken off the bat right let's go you're like i'm not ready i'm not ready (laughs) (laughs) yeah Yeah. exactly yeah it's like a rush it's a river of emotions and a lot of stuff that you haven't addressed and Mm. so you know it gets it can get worse yeah Yeah. and super intense as well as you said like because all those emotions come back and then you can you know you can have the abilities they come back as well to read everyone in a room comes back like a hundred not 20 percent like a hundred percent so you got everyone's feelings around you your own feelings that are exploding right now so then it becomes just a whirlpool yeah exactly Hmm. so anything else you'd like to share with the viewers uh if you want to ask us more questions please do we can't wait to answer them (laughs) <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely put them in the in the comments and we will definitely address them um, yeah. with each episode. So thanks, Lauren, for joining me. I hope Thank uh, you. <laughs> you were able to help some people a little bit. Um, and we will be back next week. We hope you enjoyed your stay at the 10 Minute Witch. Please send us your questions so that we may answer them in an upcoming episode. Until then, my friends. Stay witchy.